Hey everybody, Blake here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. Uh, we're gonna be talking about our Moat Marine Laboratory aquariums again. So we're gonna be doing another species spotlight. Today we're gonna be taking a look at our friend, the French angelfish. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be feeding the tanks like we usually do on Mondays. And then we're gonna be diving in and talking a little bit about the species in particular. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up here we're going to start with our feeding and give you a little bit of insight into our friend the French angelfish. So just like we did last week, we're going to be starting out with our green algae for them. And you can see our French angelfish loves the algae. And that's in part because that's part of his diet out in the wild. So they are what are called foraging omnivores, meaning they will eat both plants and animals. So whatever they can get their mouths on. You can see our friend Larry the Lobster is coming up here to get his lunch, so we're gonna hand him his shrimp and get him out of the way. Just like usual, he gets himself a thawed out shrimp with the tail removed. Now everybody else here is getting their usual diet of krill and mysa shrimp, but we're also throwing some shrimp in there. So the French angelfish loves this shrimp along with our puffer fish, our balloon fish. Now the French angelfish is native to the Western Atlantic. We find it here in the Caribbean. So here in the Florida Keys, over in the Bahamas, down in Honduras, and it has been reported as far north as off the coast of New York. It likes to inhabit tropical waters down to depths of about 15 feet. So it is a fish that hangs out on coral reefs. So it likes to be in the shallow waters. Now out in the wild, you'll usually see the French angelfish in pairs. And this is partly due to it being along with its mate for mating and to help defend its, its territories. It's keep predators away and claim areas where it likes to forage for foods. So out in the wild, some of the foods that you would see the French angelfish eating would be like we were feeding them earlier, algaes, uh, and then soft corals, such as the gorgonians we have in our, our soft coral exhibit. And then tunicates. But its diet is mainly about 70% sponges. And what they'll do is when they eat sponges, they have a mucus that they'll coat it in, and this helps aid it in digestion. But we don't exactly feed our French angelfish sponge here just because it's not, not viable, not a viable food source. So we substitute that for a high-protein food such as mysa shrimp and krill. 
and this helps keep him nice and happy and healthy. He is a very active fish. So we don't have a mated pair of French angelfish in our tank. We have just the one. And it would be possible to have two in this tank. But what we were going for is we were going for a diversity of fish. So we wanted to get a nice range of the different species we'd see here in the Florida Keys. If down the line we wanted to add a second French angelfish, we definitely could and they would probably bond pretty quickly. Um, like I said, out, out in the wild and on the reefs, they like, to, they like to swim around together. And if you're out scuba diving or out snorkeling here in the Florida Keys, you're almost guaranteed to see them swimming around in pairs. An interesting thing about the French angelfish is the juveniles look almost totally different than the adults in their patterning and their coloration. The juveniles almost go through, they go through a metamorphosis when they are reaching maturity and their coloration changes from a yellow and black striped coloration to the black and yellow, almost, I would say, um, dotted pattern that you see on ours. And the reasoning behind this is the juveniles play a different role on the reefs. They act like a cleaning station. So what they will do is they will set up shop somewhere on the reef and they will help clean parasites uh, off of larger fish, some, some predatory fish. So you'll actually see the juveniles picking parasites off of larger fish like jacks, and snappers, even more eels, um, sometimes grunts. The French angelfish is closely related to another angelfish that we have here in the Florida Keys. It is the gray angelfish. They have very similar body shape. Uh, obviously, the gray angelfish is just gray, but just imagine our French angelfish just completely gray. That's what it looks like. They inhabit the same range and territory here in the Florida Keys. These guys are very active during the day, so they'll go out on the reefs looking for their favorite food, sponges and algaes. And what they will do is they'll, they'll forage during the day, and then at nighttime they'll recede back into the, the reef, and they'll tuck themselves into the coral. And they'll kind of hide, try and hide from the predators such as the sharks. Now these guys aren't fished commercially, but they are eaten um, in some Caribbean communities along with in countries such as Thailand and Singapore. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to vouch for how they taste, but uh, I guess they probably taste just like any other angel fish. And lastly, as for their conservation status, they're not of any major concern. Uh, they are collected wildly for the aquarium trade, but they are also being raised uh, in captivity for the aquarium trade as well. So. Like I said, they're not being commercially fished, so they aren't really being taken in abundance off the reefs, but they are being collected somewhat for the aquarium trade. But hopefully, as they are raised more in captivity, 
their collection will be less and less. So that is all we have for today's Species Spotlight. Uh, again, I thank you guys for tuning in. I hope everybody's staying safe in there. Um, but be sure to tune in next week for another installment of our Species Spotlight here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. Thanks. <laughs>